I hope you had a wonderful weekend. If you follow me on Snapchat, you know that we've been to the seaside on um, last weekend because we went to visit our neighbors that moved a month ago. You know, the ones that have uh, the lovely Shih Tzu Lola. Louis been missing her terribly. So we had a lovely time. We took the dogs um, on a beach and um, Louis absolutely loved it. Okay, so today I will have a chat with you, quick chat, some updates, and then I will show you a few things that I have bought. Okay, so someone asked me what happened to my uh, half coffee with me and Monday favorite chat uh, playlist. Okay, so the other day I've decided to sort out my playlist. Um, you know when you go to my main channel page you can choose videos, playlists and I try to arrange my videos into playlists but it became ridiculous because I used to do Friday favorites chats, then Monday chats, uh, then have coffee with me and there were really old videos in there so those videos are still on my channel they just not in those playlists I deleted the playlists um, because I have so many of them. I have some private ones as well. So I was getting a bit confused with it all. So I thought I will have like just few main playlists. I thought with my Monday chats, um, I didn't realize that someone would want to go back to the playlist and watch all those chats. I thought once it came out on Monday, you don't want to watch it again. So I got rid of that one. Um, I'm keeping things like hooded eyes tips and tricks and all my makeup tutorials. Well, I think I've deleted some makeup tutorials because I had about three different lists for makeup tutorials. Ones were hooded eyes makeup tutorials, then get ready with me. So what I am going to do now, I think I've named it makeup tutorials for hooded eyes because obviously I have hooded eyes so all my tutorials are for hooded eyes. So I will still have the list, a playlist for makeup tutorials. I kept the list all about nails so if you ever want to know anything about nails or any videos that I've done about nails it will be in that playlist. I've kept the playlist all about my hair so whenever I talk about my hair or review hair products anything like that will be in that playlist. Now I can't remember what other playlists I left in there uh, but there is still quite a few. Um, if you That doesn't mean that by deleting the playlists I've deleted my videos so if you are still after some particular video you can find it when you go to my uploads, my videos. So it's just a bit easier. I was getting so confused every time I wanted to add my video to a playlist, I had to look through so many. So that's what I have done. Um, okay, someone asked me if I could do outfits of the day at the end of each video, like Lisa Lisa Diwan does. And the answer is no, I will not be doing that. One is I am not a fashionista, you know, like Lisa, Lisa, she just is so good at it. And I love clothes, but I'm, I am not that, I don't buy clothes that often. I used to, you know, a few years back, I used to be quite obsessed with buying clothes, but I'm not that much now. So I don't consider myself a fashion icon. Um, I might now and again do like a lookbook. They are quite um, uh, time consuming to film, especially if you're doing it yourself. Uh, so I might do now and again something like that. And another reason is I don't want to be told again and again that I'm trying to copy Lisa. <laughs> I love Lisa, I think she's great. Um, but I've been told when I 
do the old vlog that I'm copying Lisa. Someone else said before that I'm copying Lisa. So um, I don't want to start doing that and give people the reason to tell me that again. Okay, so that was that. Okay, another thing I wanted to tell you is, you know when I do makeup tutorials and you might have noticed that, for example, I did um, the Lorac Pro and I put look number one. Um, and I did that, I started doing that with few palettes. I think what I'm going to do is do, like take one palette and video a few looks from that palette because I have noticed that um, sometimes I do a look and a lot of you will say oh I've got this palette but I never know how to pair the colors how to use them so I thought it would be very helpful if I did few looks with each palette so if you have it you can choose which look you like I will do some more natural looks and some in your face looks so I thought that would be a good idea and I was even thinking to do uh, separate playlist for each palette but I thought again that would be so many playlists and in one palette I might do three looks from one palette from the other I might do just two so I will just all put it in my makeup tutorials but if you see the numbers like Lorac Pro number one you will know that there are other looks done with this palette so I thought that would be a good idea okay um, another subject I want to touch up on I was thinking if to do it or not but I am so fed up with people leaving snotty comments uh, you know basically that I'm just all about money um, there was one person that obviously did not pay attention to my video or what I was saying she got all confused when I did the get baby soft skin with the Turkish glove she said I thought you are being sued by this company why are you talking about this glove and you all know that wasn't the glove so um, if you're going to say something make sure you've got the right um, information and you've paid attention to the video and she said that she's not going to watch me anymore because obviously I'm all about the money and that's fine um, yeah let's talk about the money um, people think that um, you can earn a lot of money on YouTube I tell you something if I did it for money I would have stopped a long time ago um, I am not someone huge like Jacqueline Hill that gets uh, sponsorships, that gets um, to collaborate on makeup lines, which if I had the opportunity, I would. Why not? Why not get paid for something that you love doing? We all would love to have a job um, that we love, we like doing and we get paid for it, don't we? Another thing is anybody can start a YouTube channel. Um, I don't understand why people get so annoyed about the affiliated links, about people sending us stuff. Why not? We are doing what we love and we can try out things for you. You watch YouTube channel for nothing. You don't pay to watch it. Um, if you click on affiliated links, it does not cost you anything. The money doesn't come out from your bank account into mine or any other YouTuber. Um, we get paid for the adverts that are placed on our videos. Simple as that. That earns us nothing. Another way you can earn some money is by affiliated links. And I have quite a few and not all of them are affiliated. When you see that a lot of links have BTL or something next to it. This is that does not mean that this is affiliated link. It's just a link shortened. There's a website called Bitly where you can shorten the links because you know sometimes, for example, you go to Amazon and I'm looking for a product for you and the link is so long that would take up the whole um, description box. So you go to Bitly, you enter this link and it shortens it for you. Okay, but yes, I do have affiliated links. And I never make you to click on them. You don't have to. If you do, I am very grateful because I get small commission from it, but it does not cost you anything. You don't pay me the commission. It's the companies that pay me the commission. 
So that's how the affiliated links work. Another way we can earn money is by sponsored videos. And that means that companies send you stuff and they pay you for talking about it, which I think is fine if people want to do that. I think in my whole time, on YouTube, I've done two sponsored videos. And then I have decided that I probably will not do them because again, you get the comments, people think you're not being honest because it's a sponsored video. And I would never do that because if the product didn't work for me, I just would not talk about it and I don't get paid. It works like that. Um, but I don't think I'm going to do any sponsored videos for that simple reason. I don't want anybody to think that I say good things for money, you know? And for those of you who have watched me for a long time, I hope you know that I'm being honest with you. Um, yes, there was another YouTube police person when I did the um, a review of the Ruby, you know, auto-rotating curler. She was so insistent that I told you if this has been sent to me or I've bought it myself. She actually has her own YouTube channel and she gets stuff sent from Irrist Irresistible Me as well. And, you know, I always tell you this has been sent to me um, or I've bought it myself. And I honestly thought that I did say it. And maybe a bit of it is a bit of ignorance because you know I work with Irresistible Me. They send me hair extensions, they've sent me tools before, and I am affiliated with them. I have a discount code for you. And if you buy through that code, I get a small commission, which I'm very grateful for if you ever do that. But you don't have to click on that link. You can just go to the website yourself and purchase it yourself. It will cost you exactly the same money. Well, unless you use my discount, it will cost you less. Um, and I don't get commission. And that's absolutely fine. I really appreciate it if you do, but you don't have to. Now, Madame Glam, you know, the gel polishes, um, I've got a very good discount for you, but I am not, well, I am affiliated, but I, hmm, is that called affiliated? I don't get any commission from Madame Glam. They just now and again send me some gels uh, to try, but I don't get paid at all by Madame Glam for you buying the stuff, but I have a very good discount for you, which is very generous of them, like 30% off or something. So, yes, with this Ruby Curling Iron, I thought that I've, I said that it was sent to me, because I usually do, um, or I just assumed that you know, because you've seen me reviewing stuff from them and, and I assume you know I'm affiliated with them. So um, I did go and put it in a description box that this was sent to me. But, um, you know, some people just or don't know me or don't watch my channel and just draw those conclusions that I'm trying to hide something from you. So that's that. I thought I'd talk about it. Okay, now quick update about my um, Redken products that I've shown you um, last last week, I think. And yes, I bought that myself as well. Um, right, the Pillow Proof Blow Dry Spray. So you know I've got this favourite, my amazing blow dry secret spray that it speeds up your blow dry time and protects and blah blah that I absolutely love and because it is very difficult to get here in the UK I was looking for something different and someone said that the red can pill pillow proof spray does the same job and it absolutely does I really really like it it works fantastically it gives me really nice blow dry the only thing is it does smell nice, but I still prefer the smell of the other one. So that I'm, I am really happy with. Now, the Iron Shape 11. I must say, I don't use it that much. I only use it when I curl my hair and I will spray my hair with it. It says that it gives you, you know, um, it is a thermal protecting spray, but it also gives you hold. I don't feel like it gives you any hold at all but I will use it for purely for that purpose that when I'm curling my hair to give it extra protection because this spray already has uh, heat protection in it but you know never enough heat protection 
Now the hairspray, the Control Addict number 20A, it's okay. I can use it, it it's okay. It's not my favorite hairspray, but I will use it. It's not, it's not the helmet hairspray that I like, but I only like it really on top. But just to, it's okay, but I wouldn't go crazy over it. I will use it. Okay, so that was the update. Um, okay, I've got something also exciting to show you. Okay, so you know, you've probably seen them in my uh, 2015 favourites at the Max Factor Cream Puff Blushes. And this one is in Gorgeous Berry. I absolutely love it. But as you know, Carmen just sent me a nice uh, parcel not long ago. And she sent me this new CoverGirl True Blend Blush. Okay, so some of you might know that CoverGirl and Max Factor is the same thing. Obviously, we will get so CoverGirl in US is what Max Factor is to us, and I can't remember if it was Max Factor bought CoverGirl or other way around. Uh, but for example, that foundation three in one, whatever it is, CoverGirl is the same as our Max Factor three in one cover I can't remember now what it is but anyway some products are the same and I think that these blushes let me show you again now I think these blushes are exactly the same and this one is in deep mauve and I think that this is exactly the same as gorgeous berries so let me swatch them so this is the Max Factor Gorgeous Berries and this is this one, the Deep Mauve. I mean they will vary slightly um, in colour because they are baked and as you can see they have these different colour veins in it. So even if I had two of the same Max Factor blushes they would vary slightly because of that. But they feel exactly the same and you can't really tell the difference. So if you were worried that you can get those blushes, which I really, really love, they are so beautiful, um, then yeah, go for that uh, True Blend blush from CoverGirl. Okay, let's talk about something, some stuff. And now, everything that I'm going to show you, I've bought myself with my own money. It hasn't been sent to me. So the first thing I bought is MAC, MAC Strobe Cream. You know I've made my own strobe cream, but obviously the um, ingredients that I've mixed together, I'm not a chemist, they don't work together, any care don't a bit. Um, and I thought, why don't I try the strobe cream? Because this is more than, this is not um, actually a primer. It is a moisturizer. So it's got a lot of good stuff in it and it has that strobing effect. Let me put some on my hand. And you know, I, I am not big on primers and stuff like that, but what I have noticed that with me using Retin-A, my skin, has gone really dry and I don't know I think when you start using retina your skin looks a bit worse at first before it gets better you know so that's the strobe cream it just gives you um, you know that pinkish silvery uh, hue to your face. It's very nice. It's very moisturizing uh, Because it is hydrating. So I am enjoying it. I've only used it like three four times uh, But I've noticed I've got a few breakouts But they could be hormonal breakouts because it's the time of the month. So I don't know yet Please let me know if anybody experienced breakouts from the strobe cream um, but I will keep using it and I see if, you know, if I'm fine because I am pretty sure that these are my hormonal breakouts. So I bought that. So I, I think I will be trying some uh, primers because um, I feel like my skin needs it now. Um, 
for various reasons, you know, some might be to fill in pores, some could be to fill some lines, some could be for just the, you know, illuminating um, effect because my I feel like my skin is quite dull now and, and dry. Um, I do love the NYX Angel Veil. I really like this um, primer, I think the makeup goes so well. I especially like using it with my L'Oreal uh, True Match Foundation. So I bought that. Oh yeah, and another thing from MAC, it's a repurchase, is the Dazzle Glass in Like Venus. You know I've used one of those and I love it. Again, I'm gonna say Dazzle Glasses are sticky but that does not bother me it it is um lovely pink with like it's like duochrome like iridescent stuff so this is like venus i love it that, um and of course i've bought some more makeup geek shadows the foiled ones because i'm in love with them so I thought I'd try some darker ones as well because I could use it all over my lid and today I've got one of them on. So I've ordered three more. The first one is called Grandstand. So this is Grandstand and I would say this is like a beautiful coppery rose gold. <laughs> um, I love, love that one. The next one is Mesmerized. So that's Mesmerized and it's a taupey colour. To me, this is a bit like MAC Satin Taupe on steroids. Beautiful, beautiful colour. You know I love my taupes. And the third one is Showtime. And that's what I've got on my eyes. So this is Showtime. Yes, so I have Showtime on my lids today with a bit of, I think it's Peach Smoothie on the top. Now, beaches and cream on the top. They are so pigmented. Look, this is like my second swipe, just wiping them off and they are beautiful. So I got those. I think I have enough now makeup, geek eyeshadows. Okay, the last thing I want to show you what I've bought is the Rosie for Autograph, you know, Ro Rosie Huntington Whiteley our British model. Uh, she's just come out with her makeup line. She has a fragrance which I have and I really love and I, I was aware of her coming out with this line and I haven't seen seen it but then of course Carmen she is a devil she keeps sending me photos of things that she bought and then I feel like I need to run out and get it so I went to Max and Spencer's and had a look it is not a huge range she has just I tell you what she has she doesn't have any foundations she has like a face primer sort of illuminating face primer which I didn't want to try yet um, she has two powders, one just like a loose setting powder, white, and one uh, highlighting powder that I have bought. Uh, she has some um, liquid eyeliners, eyeshadow palettes. I think there's four eyeshadows and I think there is five palettes. But most of them, I think there is just one palette that has one matte shadow, the rest are shimmering. Uh, she has these lovely, um, she has lipsticks but not lip liners. Um, it's not a huge collection but I'm sure she will expand on that. So I can't tell you much about it yet because I haven't used it for long but i just chosen a few things. Um, not many, well I've chosen some to send to Lisa, Lisa D1 because you know how much she loves um, Rosie, she knows this is coming to her. So. Um, I haven't sent it yet, but she will show you the stuff that I don't have because I have I've decided not to buy, buy the eyeshadow palette because I have so many eyeshadows that I thought I don't really need another palette. I might buy it in the future, you never know. But you know, because I was getting some for, for Lisa as well, I got her eyeshadow palette. So she will have a bit different things than, than me, I think. So the first thing I bought is this highlighter powder. 
It comes in beautiful packaging. It's a bit similar to Charlotte Tilbury's, I would say, because you get this rose gold and you have the rosy for autograph on it. I love how this is packaged. It's got this um, net inside, so it's not too messy. And it says that this is an ultra fine illuminating loose powder with a silky weightless feel. Gives skin a natural radiant luminous, luminous finish. Perfect for use along cheekbones, brow bone, down the nose and across the decollete area. So it is beautiful. It looks quite white. Um, you probably won't be able to see it, but it is. It is very subtle highlighter. I've got it on. Uh, it is very pretty and it is sort of pinky, you know, that I would say that it's probably a bit like Opal from Becca. And it is very fine. It is very nice. So I've decided to go for highlighter because I don't have that many highlighters. As you know, my Probably my favourite one is the Mari Luminizer and I have a couple more so I thought I'd try the highlighter. The next thing I bought was her liquid eyeliner which comes in a box like this in a rose gold case. That's the tip of it. I quite like it when you when I pressed it on my hand, I thought, oh, it's quite bendy, it's okay. But actually, when I use it on my eye, you, you have to remember that your hand is um, like a solid surface. So, so when you press hard, it will bend, but it doesn't bend so easily on your eye. Um, it is not my favorite, but it is very nice. You can do really nice, precise wing with it. So... Um, so I chose that and I'm using it, I quite like it. Then the next thing I got was her cream eyeshadow. And these are a bit like the Laura Mercier, Tom, Tom Ford, not Tom Ford, by Terry. Uh, they come, you know, in that sort of form. So this one is, what color is this one? Almond Eyes. I thought I'd choose for now like a really light one that I can put in a corner of my eyes or use it as a base. I would say it's a, I hope you see it, it's a champagne color. It is very nice, it, it has very good staying power. I really, really like it. And I think she had five different um, colors. So I might get the other ones. Um, although I don't use that many, um, you know, cream shadows in that form, but this is really nice and be quick to use, you know, in the corner of your eye. So that was the eyeshadow. And then I got one lipstick. She has quite a few lipsticks and mine is in Nude Mink. And, you know, as you expect, <laughs> As you would expect from me, it is a very nice nude color. It is not pink, it is more peachy nude. And what is the finish of it? It looks sort of satiny. Okay, it says it's a hydrating lipstick with a nourishing, super soft feel. Comfortable to wear, lips feel soft and smooth with long lasting, intense color, enriched with argan oil. So, yeah, they are, yes, they do feel very creamy when you put them on and they are not too shiny, they are not matte. I would say they are satin finish. I don't know if I show you this color for long enough. I think this was like the lightest um, neutral lipstick. Uh, she had some beautiful colors there. Okay, so yeah, the lipstick feels very, very lovely and creamy, but what I've noticed one time, and I don't know if it's maybe I had something under it, maybe I put um, balm or something under this lipstick that, you know, I hate when that happens when your lipstick sort of curdles, like here in the, your inner lips, but I can't give you the full review and 
what I really feel about it because I've had it just like for four days. So I haven't used it all for long enough. It looks beautiful. The packaging is gorgeous. Um, I should think quality is not too bad. The prices are okay. Um, I can't remember. I can't remember how much they were, but they are not like high, high end prices like Charlotte Tilbury. They are much, they sort of mid range. Bit more expensive than than your drugstore but a bit less than your high high end so i can't tell you and i don't want to for my opinion because many times there have been things that i have bought and used a couple of times and thought well, i don't like it and then this product would become somehow my favorite because i used it different way so i'm sure you will hear about it in future uh, but yes it is definitely worth checking out okay my lovelies so that's it for today i think it was long ago again but that's what the monday videos are all about and um, thank you so much for watching have a wonderful week and i see you soon bye